the price of just about everything is going up. Gas prices are high. Food is high. Is the Biden administration doing enough to get the economy on the right track and better jobs for black families? I'm Justin Carter. TSR News starts right now. The good news is that we added 261,000 jobs in October, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The bad news is that the unemployment rate ticked up a little bit to 3.7%. And for black people, that number continues to teeter above average at 5.9%. Now we sat down with Shalanda Young. She's the director in the Office of Management and Budget for President Biden. She's the first black woman to have this role and she's getting real with us about where we are. It is good news for the country. We are adding 261,000 jobs. And the fact that we have a strong labor market and continue to add this many jobs every month uh, is a very good sign for the country. But we also cannot ignore the inevitable and it's something that the president has spoken about, which is inflation. Everybody's talking about it. You go to the grocery store, you see that a dozen of eggs is like $4. You see, you know, something as small as Pop Tarts are three dollars. And, you know, I was in the grocery store the other day. Oreos are five dollars. Like, you know, things are um, things are high right now and people want to know why. One, we have to do things like release oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to bring down gas prices. We're seeing that work. Dollar uh, twenty reduction from the all time high over the summer. We have to do things with Congress. We passed the Infl uh, Inflation Reduction Act. So we will be negotiating drug prices and seeing prescription drugs and other health care costs come down. Uh, this is not going to be something uh, that's addressed through one thing, uh, but everything we're doing is to see those costs brought down because you're absolutely right. Like I'm a parent of a one-year-old, um, so I'm uh, for the first time in many, many years buying milk uh, by, by, the, by the gallons uh, weekly. President Biden released a statement Friday with a promising outlook saying that the economy has added more jobs and earning opportunity each month since he's been in office. How? The American Rescue Plan to start. It made half of all Black and Hispanic children in the United States eligible for the fully expanded child tax credit. Also, a billion dollars worth of small business loans were added for small businesses in low to moderate income communities. Also, 60% of rental assistance is going to Black and Brown renters. He also mentioned provisions to the Inflation Reduction Act was just signed into law in August. It includes changes to the Medicare system and aims to lower prescription drug prices. What are you excited to see in 2023? Well, you, I work for a, a president who has a, a long track record in this town of getting stuff done. Um, and the great thing about that is we are laser focused on how he views the world. Um, he told the American people his vision for the world, especially the economy and how he sees um, you know, how we should be as a country coming out of the pandemic. Uh, Joe Biden said we can do better than we did before the pandemic. Uh, and we have to grow the economy from the bottom up and the middle out. Trickle down did not work. So what we're going to try and what we are doing is we're going to put money in pockets of those uh, at the bottom and in the middle because we think they are the key to ensuring uh, this long lasting democracy works and that we build an economy that's fair and equitable for everyone. And can you just give us some bullet points or how you guys are going to make that happen? So we have proposals uh, that ensure that billionaires and corporations uh, pay more in taxes uh, to ensure that we have more Head Start slots, to ensure that we have childcare uh, for the many parents in this country who cannot afford adequate childcare. What we are getting from taxing uh, the, the ultra wealthiest uh, is to ensure that we have safety nets for families who need uh, to need, who need a little breathing. They're not asking for a lot. Many of us are wondering, is a recession on the way? Well, in a recent CNN interview, President Biden says the idea of a slight recession is always possible, but he does not anticipate it. He says that our ability to avoid a recession so far gives some confidence about the future of the economy. For TSR News, I'm Justin Carter.